Do you know that this is the blessing of Abraham? When God called Abraham, he said, I will bless you and you shall be a blessing and all the families of the earth will be blessed through you. That's what he said in Genesis 12, verse 2 and 3. He repeats it to Jacob here in verse 14. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. That's the blessing of Abraham in Galatians 3.14. We are told that this blessing of Abraham comes upon us when we are filled with the Holy Spirit. You know the purpose of the fullness of the Holy Spirit? It's not just to speak in tongues. That may be one of the thing, gifts God gives to some people. But that's not the main thing. Unfortunately, a lot of people have made much of that. It's not even for physical healing. Paul did not get physically healed from the thorn in the flesh. The primary purpose of the fullness of the Spirit is Galatians 3.14 that we might have the blessing of Abraham. What is that? All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. That means when God fills me with the Holy Spirit, every family or every person from a family whom I meet, I'm going to be a blessing to them. Nobody can meet me without getting a blessing. It's like these heavily perfumed ladies. Have you met a heavily perfumed lady? You walk even a few feet away and you, oh, you can smell it. It's a perfume. A anywhere she goes, people can smell it. This lady is perfumed. It's something like that. That when God fills us with the Holy Spirit, we are going to be a blessing to the families of the earth. If I go into a home, I leave that home, I bless that home and gone. Whether I've gone for five minutes or stayed for five days. That's how all of us should be. This is the blessing of Abraham. This is the fullness of the spirit. This is the rivers of living water that flow. Rivers that flow. Blessing thirsty people everywhere.